guys, how are you doing today? So my name is Ramsey and I am going to be showing you, um, giving you a tour, I think, of my Telegram bot. So as you can see on the screen right now, we have my GitHub account. And I think the Telegram bot is somewhere here. Let's just see if we can find it. There it is. This is it. I'm sorry, this is the wrong branch. So it's on the feature branch. And as you can see, I say in this project, I build a Telegram bot that gives a bit of info about me and serves random quotes. It was built using Ruby and the Telegram bot API. A few instructions here on how to install. I'm going to include that in the description. And also how to run tests. Um, and just, you know, the usual stuff in the readme. So I'm going to show you from my local machine here. All we've got in the main file, um, this is a file structure. It's like you got uh, you got a binaries folder right here. You've got a library folder with uh, uh, classes. Um, you've got a spec folder. This is where I put in the tests. And of course, this gem file where dependencies are located. The config file holds my Telegram API token. Um, this one I put in the .git ignore file so that it doesn't go up to the repo because, well, we don't want anyone else controlling the bot. Ideally, when you're creating your own Telegram bot, um, you're going to get your own API token. And so when you're creating the bot, that's what you will use here. I put it in the config file. I have a main file that just um, puts the terminal that the bot is running. And then... Um, uh, it creates it bot.new that is it instantiates the the bot class so I think this would be more grammatically correct bot is running yeah and then here we have the bot file now what does a bot file do so it has an initialize method where I put most of the functionality because I thought it would be really great if we just like start working at startup of course I could encapsulate all of these things in other methods which I could do maybe if I want to make this more scalable, more organized. But for now, I thought it would be really great if I could just have it in here. Um, it, it accepts the command start, info, and quote. When it says starts, uh, it tells you a bit about self. Info tells you a bit about me, like my birthday, what I love, etc. And when you ask it for a quote, it sends you a random quote. It actually calls a quotes class, which is right here. The quotes class um, actually gets a JSON file from the TypeFit API, but it gets a random quote. As you can see, it gets it here, and then it uh, puts it in the variable uh, quote set, and then quotes it just samples random quotes from that. It's already a JSON file, so it does that. Um, the tests are right here. I test the random quote method, make request method um, in the quote file. Um, Know that the make request method is private. If you wanted to test it, um, it's a bit tricky to test a private method. So for now, all I do is I just comment out private when I need to test it and it works. And then I put my uncomment private. But then again, in the future, I could also make it, um, I, I write better tests for the private methods. What else? Oh, yeah. Um, I, I guess you'd definitely like to see the bot in action. So um, what do we do here? I could actually create a new terminal window because they have Telegram, the um, client running right now. So for the bot, this is a new terminal window. And it, all I have to do is um, CD into the bot file. I think it's Telegram bot. Let's see. Let's see how many files we have here. So it would be Ruby Telegram bot, CD Ruby um, Telegram bot, yeah. And then um, if you want to run it, just uh, type in Ruby um, bin um, main.rby, and it should be running. There it is, bot is running. So if you go into Telegram, and check, I actually already have the bot here. You could just search for it as Rams in Jirabot if you wanted. It's the name Rams in Jirabot. But if I have it here, um, I already have it open. If I type in start, it should tell me, hi, I'm Ram, hello Ram Ram, I'm Rams, it gets your username. 
Ramsey's chatbot tells you a bit about what Ramsey is doing. It's just for fun. Maybe you like more functionality later. Maybe he won't last short, blah, blah, blah. You type in info. It, um, yeah, it gives me a bit of more information about who Ramsey is, how old he is, what his birthday is, what he loves. And he tells me if I want to quote, I can just type quote and send and see what happens. Well, let's see. Let's see. I got a random quote. Most people are about as happy as they make up their minds to be. Great quote. And it tells me once another quote, aka a motivational joke, because they make you believe you can be as rich as Jeff Bezos just by waking up at 5 a.m. and taking cold showers. That's a personal joke. <laughs> Hope you like it. So yeah, that's basically it. Very basic functionality for now. Um, for me, the biggest uh, thing was just trying to get um, my uh, trying to get a Telegram bot up and running. Try to understand the Telegram API. Of course, uh, there are endless possibilities here, which I'm looking to explore myself. But I'm liking how much progress I've made. I started learning Ruby like a month or two ago, and I'm. I'm personally quite proud of how much progress I've made, and I hope you guys love the progress as well. Um, great. So uh, I hope you guys love that. It's, as usual, a joy um, rep uh, uh, presenting this stuff to you. And I hope to see you next time in my next project. Bye.